Okay, so when it comes to the aftermarket in terms of the elite desks and pro desks, the big question is, do I buy or build? And what I mean by that is, do I go on Amazon and get a full package where it's a um, refurbished machine that already has the memory and the SSD and processor and keyboard and mouse and power supply and the whole nine yards? And maybe it's, uh, you know, prime shipping and you get it two days later and you're set to go and, and you're fine. Um, granted, you're going to pay more for it, but maybe it's got the backing of, um, you know, Amazon in case you needed to return it or you have a, a problem with it, or maybe that includes some sort of six month warranty. So you go that way or you go the other extreme. You buy, um, a motherboard, a mild, you know, um, fan and heat sink and a caddy and, CPU and memory and SSD and the whole thing, you know, to where you're basically building it from scratch. Well, I think there's, those are two very, you know, broad extremes as far as um, price and complexity and what you feel comfortable with. I want to talk today about kind of a middle ground and perhaps look at what we can see on eBay and what are some of our choices in terms of what you can do, um, you know, how bare bones should you go, uh, you know, what kind of monies are you going to save? Is it going to cost you more if you, you know, take all the little components? Is it, Are you going to save some money by getting it all together? Are you paying more um is there more risk, less risk, all, all those kinds of things I want to kind of talk about. So I'm going to center on the Elite Desk 800 G3 Mini because it's kind of a middle of the road. You know, um, uh, it's got some of the expandability that you can do with maybe the G3, G4, G5, but it still has some nice uh, price points that you might see in the G1, G2. Um but it also supports, you know, the, the M.2s and um, Wi-Fi and the whole, whole nine yards. So I want to kind of go into that. Um, we'll look at some listings, um, look at some numbers and, you know, kind of help you decide um, which end of the spectrum. The more, hey, everything is all ready for me or, hey, I want to do the total DIY myself. Okay, so went on eBay. Put in the Elite Desk 800 G3 Mini for our search criteria. Um, it always defaults to best match. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to say that we're going to go with the 35 watt units. So that's the T processors. Um, maybe we'll look at both the 6500T and perhaps the 7500T. Um, especially when it comes to cases where we've got something where we're going to have to buy the CPU. Now that's been, in my experience, the biggest cost item is the CPU. I had a case where I got a G4 bare bones and I got it for a great price and didn't have a CPU, obviously. I knew I already had memory. And so I said, oh, okay, well, what if I, um, I'll just get uh, a plain old, um, you know, i5-8500T. So I went on, uh, let's see if I do that, uh, i5-8500T CPU. And we'll go lowest price. And actually, this price is these have definitely come down. When I went to get mine, I was paying closer to about 50, 55 for it. So that was a little rude awakening because I could have gotten a unit that already had memory in it for and the CPU, everything all you know tested and working 
for you know not much more than the price so I would recommend that if you are thinking of going anything to do where you're going to have to purchase a CPU decide on that CPU first and look at your pricing and see you know what you're willing to go with um, and also make sure that you're going with someone that's fairly reputable um, I, you know, if the CPU is bad, uh, nothing's going to make it any better when it comes to um, you know the rest of the unit. So uh, check that, and but definitely check your pricing. A lot of the i7s are are pretty pricey. So if I had wanted to go with let's say uh, an i7 um, 8700, uh, you're talking you know more in the 73. Um, you know, <laughs> that's quite a difference in price um, in terms of the, you know, again, deciding. So a lot of times I would decide first. So let's get back to the, um, uh, the Elite Desk. So Elite Desk 800G3 Mini, uh, we've got the pricing low to high. Um, you know, it, the, the bidding ones are tempting. And um, let's say if you come in here and there's an hour left and there aren't any bids and the price is really low, you know, go for it. That might be a way to get in there. Um, kind of just depends on what you're willing to, you know, to, to try with. Um, I mean, this, this is not bad. You're getting two of them. Already has the 6500T in there, no RAM. So all you'd have to do is just uh, get the um, you know hopefully you've got some extra RAM around you could throw that in there and maybe an extra SSD you get two of them uh, free shipping um, but you know there's five days left I wouldn't be surprised if by the time this is done you're looking at I don't know maybe 120 for that unit I'm gonna have to watch this one and see what it ends up being but I'm thinking probably yeah we'll see maybe the 120 range here's one uh, bare bones, motherboard, heat sink, fan, and drive caddy. So this essentially is saying that it's got everything. Wow, it even gives you a, a uh, an adapter. This one's a little confusing. Um, I mean, it's telling you what's in there. This though, of course, is a, um, technically, this looks like it's a uh, 65 watt unit, but that's fine. You could always get it and you, you could put a T processor in there. You've got now the, um, the nice fan, you've got the uh, vented case. Uh, conceivably, it should have a uh, 90 watt power supply on there. And you could have just put a T processor in there. Uh, and then uh, you'd be good to go. Um, yeah, this would be one that I would check with them. Uh, normally when they say bare bones, that means no um, CPU, uh, especially because it says processor speed NA. So, um, but with this, you figure you've got, um, uh, it's 3,400 or best offer. So you could offer, let's say 30, try it, get free shipping. Um, and then if I was going to get, uh, well, let's go, let's go with the um, i7. No, let's, let's go with the i5 7500T CPU. Oop. And let's go for lowest. Okay. So there's a buy now, free shipping, shipping. So let's say, and this is a best offer. Eh, you might be able to get a little bit, but let, let's say 2,400, excuse me, not 2,400, uh, 24 dollars, 2,400 cents, I guess you might call it. Um, 24 plus here, you're talking 58 dollars. That gives you the power supply, which, uh, you know me I've got tons of them so um, that's not a uh, uh, but if you're getting let's say you know if you needed to buy the power supply power supply 
is going to run you um, at least ten dollars. So for fifty-eight dollars out the door, of course, you know tax and everything else. Um, that's not too bad. Um, let's look at though. So and that's without memory. So if we were to just with the the base there, let's look to see if we can find one where it has already the CPU and look at what we'd be paying. So here's a, uh, okay, no C CPU. Okay, this one, this is a bids. You know, let's make it easier on ourselves. Let's do a buy now. All right, here is, well, see right away, this is a 35 watt i5 7500T, which is $50. Okay, no RAM, no SSD. Granted, there is no um, power supply, but price-wise, if you add it together, it's around 50. Where the other was, what was that, uh, um, 58? and that came with the um, power supply, but if you already had one, this one you don't have to worry about. Now granted, this doesn't have Wi-Fi. If that's gonna be an issue, yeah, I don't see anything in there. Uh, let's see, if we go back to that uh, bare bones, what did that one look like? Can we, eh, that one doesn't look like it has Wi-Fi either. Um, no intent on the back. So that's a pretty good apples to apples. In that case, if I could get one where I knew that the um, processor was already working, um, I might want to go that way as opposed to taking the risk of um, you know getting one. Now granted this is straight 35 watts so I don't get the um, uh, the vented uh, case, I don't get the extra fan. So that might be something, oh, plus also you would get with that other unit, you get the um, uh, copper heat sink instead of this aluminum. This is the, uh, <laughs> this is the one you gotta worry about where it's got the uh, parts repair. And um, so it's, uh, Let's see what it, why what is the the issue normal wear parts due to the fact that it does not oh well this is this isn't saying that it's bad it's just saying that uh, it hasn't been tested this actually does have Wi-Fi and it's got a 6500T um, 20 oh, wow way too much for shipping that's that's a little ridiculous but let's see out the door that's 51. Um, you know, uh, as you can see, you know, the, the, the pricing is there. Let's see if we find one that's got like the whole shebang. It's got the memory, it's got the, um, uh, the SSD. You notice the prices are definitely coming up here. Um, a lot of times also with the eight gig, I like to see if it's going to show me or I'll ask the buyer or just do a look up on the um, serial number. Is that a single stick or is that dual channel? Because um, I like it if it is, um, well, either case is good. If it's if it's a straight eight gig, I can always get another eight gig. Um, but if, uh, and if it's two, four, okay, that's not bad. Then if, or we got dual channel right away, but, um, I know these days eight gig, unless I'm gonna do it on a very low end Proxmox node, uh, it's not always the great, uh, you know, I'm gonna end up having to get something new. Okay, so here's, I've got a 256 SSD. Windows is already on there. I've got eight gig. I've got 6500T. I've got a best offer, very inexpensive shipping. Wow, and the power supply. So this looks a little funky, but that's not so bad. For the money out the door, pretty much ready to go, uh, other than maybe boosting up the the, uh, the memory. But if you just wanted a quick and dirty um, Windows 11 Pro, you could go with it. So I like to find ones where 
the unit already has a CPU in it and it's just a matter of me adding a uh, SSD and memory because that way I know that um, the work is minimal. I'll probably still go in and um, check and maybe put in some new thermal paste but at least for the rest of the stuff I don't need to go hunting for a CPU I don't have to make sure that it's working um, you know it's it's part of it um, and then it's you know set to go here's one I would probably stay away from um, it has nothing to do with who's selling it it's just the fact that it's missing a lot of things uh, and there's a lot of stuff about it that I'm not so wild about. It does have an i5-6500, so, and obviously we know that it's a 65-watt um, a system, but it doesn't have a caddy, doesn't have Wi-Fi. Um, you're going to have to get your 90-watt uh, power supply for it. I do commend the folks. I, I do like where, when they actually tell you what's not included so you know right out the door and what you're getting. Now, I have done some tests, and the i5-6500 is a more powerful processor if you need that. Um, it actually uh, outperforms a little better even than the um, i5-7500T. But again, for myself, when I'm putting this stuff together, I really ha like having that caddy. Now you could get the caddy. You would though need to get a caddy that has the fan because you're also gonna get an error when it starts to boot up when it doesn't see that case fan in there. Um, and so, or that dry fan. And so you're gonna need that uh, to make sure that it's connected. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to bypass it every time. Uh, you are gonna find some of the lower end where they're using the i3s. Um, that can save you some money. To buy or build really comes down to what you're getting the unit for. Is this something as a little DIY project or you're in the market, this is your first one. You've never um, played with these you're curious about them, you, you've put memory into other units, you know what a SATA drive is, you know how to connect stuff, or maybe you're buying it for a sibling, a spouse, a parent, a child, and you don't want the hassle of something coming back and that it's not working. Decide what processor you want. That's I would, I would use that as kind of your um, starting point. Keep looking. If you go on eBay and prices aren't looking good and you're just not finding, wait a couple days and things will change.